Here's more wrestling news for February 15th, 2022. And your headlines for this afternoon include WWE Hall of Famer to come out of 19-year retirement for massive WrestleMania match, Brock Lesnar reveals what advice he gives to younger superstars in WWE, I don't give a former WWE champion isn't bothered by a Hall of Fame induction, Raw Superstar says he had zero involvement in his WWE 2K22 character creation, update on the Owen Hart Cup, when will AEW's next tournament begin? Bianca Belair says she wants to capture tag titles with music sensation. Former WWE champions announced for match at Elimination Chamber. Former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion teases appearing in WWE following AEW debut last week, and more. We're kicking off with WrestleMania, which WWE will bring to Dallas, Texas this April, and if there's one legend of wrestling associated with the Lone Star State, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Texas Rattlesnake's voice has already been used for Mania commercials, but WWE may have a much bigger role for the former WWE champion. In recent weeks, Kevin Owens has been trying hard to get a spot on the WrestleMania card, and he's without a spot in this Saturday's Elimination Chamber, and he may soon be sharing the ring with one of the all-time greats. According to Fightful, WWE is considering an Owens vs. Austin match, which will pit two stunners against each other. Sources within the company said that Owens was being set up for that role based on his anti-Texas angle on Raw, which would lead to a confrontation and subsequent match with the bionic redneck. Austin last wrestled in 2003, losing his final match to The Rock at WrestleMania 19, and WWE have tried to coax him back in the past to no avail. After Shane McMahon was released, it was reported that WWE had found a replacement to compete in a high-profile non-title match, and it appears that this replacement may be none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. We know for a fact that WrestleMania will have a match featuring Brock Lesnar, who continues to enjoy some stellar booking by WWE. In the 45 days of 2022 so far, Lesnar has already had two world title matches, will have a third this weekend, had a WWE title reign, and won the Men's Royal Rumble, but he realizes not everyone on the roster is so fortunate. Speaking on the Pat McAfee show this week, Lesnar spoke about the current roster and said that young talent need to stop worrying about their next in-ring spot and focus more on how to put butts in seats. The Beast Incarnate added that he tells younger superstars to step up, get over, something that WWE have been struggling with in recent years, hence their reliance on older names like Lesnar and Goldberg. Lesnar has not been afraid to put younger talent over, such as Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre, but the fact that so few young stars are seen as top guys or potential top guys is a huge concern, and it's something even the usually solitary Brock Lesnar wants to see addressed. That wasn't all Lesnar had to say when he spoke to McAfee, as the pair also discussed Lesnar's likely induction into the WWE Hall of Fame. A former WWE and Universal Champion with a King of the Ring win, Money in the Bank win, and two Royal Rumble victories to his name, Lesnar is a surefire inductee one day, but the Beast isn't waiting on a Hall of Fame ring. In that same interview, Lesnar said he quote, don't give a fuck if he's in the Hall of Fame, and has a similar attitude to leaving a legacy when he's finished in the ring. Instead, Lesnar is more concerned about being a good person and good father to his kids, but said that WWE, like any business, is ultimately about making money before you think about a legacy. Lesnar may be indifferent to a Hall of Fame induction, but it'll likely happen one day, and after a dominant career in WWE and the UFC, plus his underwhelming run in the NFL, we're sure the Beast will have plenty of stories when that day comes. After the disastrous release of WWE 2K20 in late 2019, WWE made the decision to delay their next release by a year, giving the developers more time to get everything perfect. With the game taking even longer than expected, as its planned late 2021 release has been pushed back to March 2022, those in charge have had even longer to get things right, but apparently didn't have enough time for AJ Styles. Speaking to Fightful, the former world champion and avid gamer discussed the work on WWE 2K22, saying that he had no role whatsoever on his character's model. Pretty much zero involvement. The thing is, they already have the way they're gonna do it. They know exactly what they want. Ironically, one of the trailers for WWE 2K22 showcased WWE superstars playing a key part in the development process, but that apparently isn't the case in real life. 
WWE 2K22 promises to hit different when it releases next month, and it does look promising based on what we've seen so far, but we'll only know for sure once players get their hands on the long-awaited game. In late September 2021, AEW announced a partnership with the Owen Hart Foundation, which will honor the legacy of the talented wrestler who tragically died in 1999. Now we have an update on the Owen tournaments, as in an announcement, AEW has confirmed that the tournaments will begin on May 11th at both the Live Dynamite and Taped Rampage in Long Island's UBS Arena. Both the men's and women's finals will be at the 2022 Double or Nothing pay-per-view, and Owen's widow, Dr. Martha Hart, will be there to present the winners with a trophy, which is being called the Owen Cup. There's no word yet on tournament participants, but AEW is expected to make additional tournament announcements in the coming weeks, and we'll just have to see which two wrestlers make history as the first two to hold the Owen Cup. Back to WWE, as Bianca Belair has done plenty during her relatively brief time on the main roster, having won the Women's Royal Rumble, SmackDown Women's Title, and headlined WrestleMania. Belair is also the favorite to challenge Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch at this year's WrestleMania, but the EST has some other gold on her mind. Sitting down with the Metro newspaper, Belair said she'd love to do more crossover work with celebrities and even has her dream tag team partner in mind. I'm a huge fan of Rihanna. I love Fenty Beauty, Rihanna's makeup brand. We go in the ring, we have a face full of makeup, but we're still in there fighting. I'm in the Royal Rumble for 56 minutes and at the end of it, lipstick still intact. The Raw superstar added that she'd love to one day compete for the Women's Tag Team Championships with Rihanna in what would be a huge mainstream score for WWE. It was just a couple of weeks ago that Rihanna announced that she's pregnant with her first child, which obviously puts a pin in Bel Air's plans for now, but perhaps the EST will one day get her wish and team with the global megastar. More from Elimination Chamber now as a match between two former WWE World Champions has been announced. During last night's Raw, The Miz interfered in the non-title match between Raw Tag Team Champions American Alpha and The Mysterios, and post-match, the A-lister leveled Ray with a skull-crushing finale. It's since been announced that Ray will face The Miz this weekend in the first televised match between the two since the November 13th, 2018 SmackDown, which Ray won. Interestingly, this will be their second match in Saudi Arabia, after the A-lister got the win in a WWE World Cup semifinals match at Crown Jewel 2018, and is looking to do the same this weekend at Elimination Chamber. And we're ending today with Jay White, who made his AEW debut last Wednesday on Dynamite and is now teased showing up in WWE. After attacking Trent Beretta last week, the two are scheduled for a match this Wednesday, but on the Strong Style podcast, White said there's plenty of days he can work. The former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion said how he could work Monday at Raw, Thursdays at Impact, and would even be willing to split his time on Friday between SmackDown and AEW Rampage. White even listed this Saturday as a potential night he could work, seemingly a nod to Elimination Chamber 2022. It's worth stating that this is merely speculation on White's behalf as there's been nothing confirmed by WWE, but after Mickey James returned at the Royal Rumble, who knows which wrestler could walk through WWE's Forbidden Door next. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.